seven of the most chaotic years any quarterback could endure. Jim McMahon provided brilliant leadership on the field. He took the Bears to a Super Bowl night. But he snubbed authority with a non-conformist defiance as he sounded the rebel yell. You know, I'm paid to do a job, and that's that's basically how I look at it. You know, whether or not the people perceive me as, as a certain way or not, I, I, I don't worry about it. Jim McMahon is truly a player's player. Earlier this season, he led the Vikings to a victory over the Bears. Winning football games and teammates past and present, that's what counts with Jim McMahon. I think I know what I'm doing on the football field. Uh, the personality stuff was uh, a lot of the, a lot of that was media hype. Uh, I, I play the game the same way I played it you know, when I started out when I was 10 years old, and that's to win. Jim McMahon returns to Chicago to play the Bears on ABC's Monday Night Football. It's the Chicago Bears are going to get the ball. Juan Reves puts it in the air for the Vikings, and he sends it two yards into the end zone, and this is Curtis Conway in the number one draft choice from the University of Southern California is finally knocked out of bounds by another rookie, Kadri Ismail. First and 10 from the 47-yard line with Neil Anderson in the backfield, the fake to Anderson, Harbaugh over the middle to the tight end, Chris Gedney, the rookie from Syracuse, and that's a first down. Gedney goes in motion, Hayward the sole setback, and on third and nine, it is dropped by Neil Anderson. Would have had a first down. A flag is down. Jim Harbaugh under a lot of pressure tonight with the return of Jim McMahon. Third and four, that's Anderson in motion. Two minutes into the game, the opening drive of the game. Harbaugh with a deep drop, and then he throws, and only linemen are there because Chris Dolman deflected it. 37-yard attempt. Chris Gardaki, who is the punter, to do the holding. And Butler puts Chicago on the board. Jim McMahon, the longtime Bear. Then he went to San Diego. Then he went to Philadelphia to back up Cunningham and signed as a free agent with the Vikings. Jimmy Mack. Third down and four from the 25. And McMahon's first pass of the night. Instead, he scrambles, throws on the run, has a first down. Steve Jordan. Second and eight. At the 39-yard line, eight and a half to go, first quarter, three-nothing Bears. The fake, McMahon buys time, throws wide open is Chris Carter, and he has a first down. He said, we're going to run an offense that we have the personnel to produce with. Second and ten, McMahon under pressure, but escapes and turns what would have been a sack into a small gain. I would not have bet on that. No. 39-yard attempt for Juan Reves, and it is just good. Soldier Field very easily. Second and ten. Harbaugh, that's the tight end. Chris Gedney loses the football. Vikings get it. So the game's first turnover, a big one. Big as the Vikings take over deep in Chicago territory. Carl Lee comes up with it. Carter abusing Blaylock. Second and ten, and here's Robert Smith. Yeah. And the Buckeye is inside the ten. Touchdown, Minnesota. That's the kind of a touchdown that a number one draft choice makes. Woo. That was an all-star move going from the inside to the sideline, Frank. Big time stuff. Watch this. Pops through the hole. Break it out to the left. Right there. Plants the right foot. Totally gets away from Sean Gale. And then just outruns Blaylock. And the battle for second place. The winner tonight moves in behind the Lions. Five and two. The loser falls another one back. Second and ten. 4.15 left. First quarter. 10-3 Minnesota. Harbaugh on second and ten. Almost had it picked off and Carley might have had a touchdown. Break to the inside and the Vikings were all over that one. Third and ten and Harbaugh nearly has that one intercepted. Terry Ovi was the intended receiver, and Audrey McMillan nearly picked it off, and the booze are for Harbaugh. He broke his leg and sprained his ankle in the second preseason game, and goodbye. Yep. <laughs> and McMahon, well, McMahon oh. that time was not out of the pocket. Tossed it away. Grounding on the quarterback. That's also a loss of down. Third and 23 from the 24-yard line. And it's Smith, and he gets stopped at the 25. Harry Newsom having a great year, averaging 45.3 to send it down toward Terry Obey. 
48-yard kick, and Obi gets tackled right away at the 30 by... Can do nothing on the ground. Second and nine, and now they finally do something on the ground. As Anderson gets a big hole, gets across the 50, and all the way to the 39, a 31-yard run. They love to penetrate. And the 39, Anderson on the road. They give it to Conway. Harbaugh's out there to block for him, and Harbaugh throws a block, and Conway takes it to the 21-yard line. Shoulder pads are overlapping the center's helmet. <laughs> Second and eight, Harbaugh escapes Goldman. Throw. I think he was across the line and the flag is down. Ineligible receiver, downfield, yeah. on the offense, number 58. Contact with another player, he was running downfield the block. Butler, 39-yard attempt out of Gardaki's hole, and that one is just inside the right upright. Jim McMahon does pretty well against this division, and it doesn't matter what uniform he's in. 24 of his last 25 starts against teams from the NFC Central. Second and 11 at the nine-yard line. A real short drop and a quick pass, and that is Jake Reed making the catch. Third down, long three. Not a word that's been used often to describe oh. it. Sleep. Look oh. out. Oh, and McMahon somehow avoids the initial thrust by Dent, but Alonzo Spellman is there to make sure he's finished off. From the 35-yard line, Harbaugh going deep for one. It's the clock. First down. First and ten at the 28-yard line. Harbaugh, look out. Dolman blindsides him. Ball is loose. And Bears appear to be at the bottom of the pile. And they are. Third down, 14 from the 31-yard line. And he is sacked by John uh, Randall. And ooh, that's, uh, a, that's a sack that takes them out of field goal range. You can see Butler's never kicked one longer than 52, and this is 55 from the 45-yard line with two minutes to go in the half. But with no win tonight, Butler says, I think oh. I can make it, and he does! <laughs> and McMahon, he's going to run for it, steps out of bounds up at the 16-yard line. Compelled to call this running play. <laughs> Would you mind executing it, please? Yes, with proficiency. And he flips one out to Jordan, who can only get to the 20, but that might be enough for a first down. It's very, very close. Yeah, that and that's good, good enough mm -hmm. for the first down. McMahon's going to try to move it down the field. And he throws complete to Jake Reed, who makes the catch. Now they go back to the ground, they give it to Smith, and he fights his way to the 39, that's a gain of six, and the Vikings spend timeout number one. Second and long three from the 40-yard line, and Steve Jordan, the tight end. Second and ten from the 50, they fake the draw, and Jimmy Mack is going very deep, and there's a flag because Blaylock was holding Jake Reed. Pass interference. Defense. First down. From the eight-yard line. Vikings with one timeout remaining. McMahon, fade pattern to Carter. No, he's just out. The play clock got all the way down to one. And McMahon throws, and it's knocked oh. down by Wolford. And he bet it's a Pro Bowl first half. 26-yard attempt for Fouad Reves. Newsom puts it down, and Reves boots it through. Just inside the left upright again. The Viking touchdown. And that's the only touchdown in the game at the 38-yard line. And McMahon uh, underthrows it, and it's picked off by Mark Carrier. And Jake Reed went to sleep. The safety for Minnesota back in the lineup. And he tried to get it to the tight end. Gedney, but it was knocked away. Carlos Jenkins. Noga has gone to Washington, and they don't even miss him. 48 yards, oh. and no, sir. There's a flag down. Oh, well. Todd Scott of uh, Minnesota. 43-yard field goal right now. Oh, and they fake, fake and Gordaki's going to hit Butler, oh, and no. he drops the ball. Oh. 
A once in a lifetime shot. That's yeah. Dick Gordon. Third and five. And that is picked off. Intercepted by Audrey McMillan. And that reminds you of the play last year in Minnesota that was picked off by Scott Scott and run back for a touchdown on the audible by Harbaugh. Flag down on the extra point attempt, and here it is again. Easy pickings. You see, Gedney hadn't even turned around yet by the time the ball was thrown. He was in the slot position and broke to the outside. Holding number 59, offense. Will penalize 10 yards and re-kick. Now Reves and that, uh, well, it turns out to be a costly penalty. Third down and six from the 28-yard line. Harbaugh, forget it, and he's wrapped up, thrown down by John Randall. Boy, and Randall just took mercy on him. Didn't even feel like falling on top of him. Pre-Halloween look from the 37-yard line. This is... Robert Smith up to about the 42-yard line. Can't afford to allow the Vikings any more points. Second and five, and the catch is made by Smith, who breaks an initial tackle, and with that second effort, may have gotten the first down. And a toss to Barry Word. Cuts it back. And looking more like a step back than a power back at the 39-yard line. McMahon. McDumps. <laughs> Trying to put the Vikings up by 13. And Reves' kick is short. The gun sounds to end the third quarter. Minnesota 19, Chicago 9. And back we come with the fourth quarter of Monday Night Football. After this, from they are being choked by the Vikings. No first downs in the third quarter. No conversions on third down. Neil Anderson takes the screen. And one of the few big gainers tonight for the Chicago Bears. And that was just a, a good piece of work by the Bears. Uh -oh. Uh oh Anderson gets wrapped up. Henry Thomas. Welcome back to reality. Third down up and four. Harbaugh 10 out of 19 for only 109 yards. And Gedney makes the catch at the 45-yard line. Harbaugh going deep and into a lot of coverage and almost intercepted. It's incomplete. Second, second That's the old saying, one hand grenade will get them all. Very intimate setting. Harbaugh scoots down to the 21-yard line. This was a 69-yard drive by a team that had 126 yards in offense when it started. And no first downs in the third quarter. And they give it to Anderson, and that doesn't fool anybody. 35-yard Butler attempt, and that is Kevin's fourth field goal of the night. For the uh, Vikings, they're checking Jim McMahon out on the right for a possible concussion, and thus Sean Salisbury comes into the game at quarterback. Of course, we saw him in the playoff game last year against Washington. He started six games. They lead 19-12, 3-37, and Barry Word, and Barry Word has just about driven the nail in except for a flag. Holding. Number 60, offense. We see some strange things here. Yes, we have. Here's Anderson. I mean, that night against the Jets, who would have believed that? Harbaugh throwing on the run, and wide open is Gedney, and the tight end has a big first down up to the 47-yard line. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. 101 to go, no timeouts remaining for Chicago. Harbaugh pressured by Dolman, sacked by Dolman at the 46-yard line. Number eight. You know he's going to help block. Third and seven, he stays in to help yeah. out and takes Dolman out of the play, and then he, he catches the pass, <laughs> and Ironhead takes it to the 25. First down. Then I'll tell you what matter. Yeah, so with 20 seconds to go, it's, it's probably moved, but Harbaugh throws. Oh, and it's picked off at the goal line by Jack Del Rio. And it's a touchback. Chris Gedney was the tight end. He was over the middle. Harbaugh threw it right down Main Street, and Del Rio was there. But the Vikings have defeated the Bears twice this season, 10-7 in Minnesota and 19-12 in the Windy City. They go to 4-2. 
The Bears go to three and three.